When Gita asked me to give a few thoughts this morning, she wrote that Harold thought fondly of me, although she really didn't know why. I mean, her actual words were a bit, <laughs> a bit more gentle. She, she said, I know that Harold was thinking highly of you. I am not sure from which context you knew Harold, but you had a warm spot in his heart. I know the context. Um, I was a student in philosophy and social sciences from 1972 to 1977. Professor Noah knew me as just one of Donna Shalala's politics and education students. There were quite a few of us, I'm sure. But then when Donna left to enter the Carter administration, I taught her classes and I became an instructor under the leadership of then Dean Noah. I didn't know him well, but I viewed him with great respect. He was always straightforward, honest, a good listener, remembered what you said to him from conversation to conversation. Gentle, civil, all the things that people have mentioned this morning, uh, all these interpersonal characteristics that I tried to emulate uh, when I became a leader. The 70s were not an easy time for female faculty. There were way too few of us for a period of rapid change and liberation. Our ambitious expectations vastly exceeded our reality at the college in terms of both numbers and, and clout, of course. Um, the numbers improved over time, I think the clout has. <laughs> uh, but I think that Dean Noah tried hard to make us feel empowered in that challenging environment. And I think that when I became president of TC in 2006, he was pleased to have contributed to my career and to have fostered my growth. I think that's why he had a warm spot, and I'm so happy he did. He was proud, a feeling I know well from all the faculty I've known over my years as a dean and president who flourished and moved on to leadership roles. I'm proud of them. I'm so pleased he was proud of me, and the warm spot is mutual. I hope I continue to make him proud and to repay him for all his wonderful contributions to Teachers College. <laughs>